woodland plays a leading part in the dehesa. Its function as a producer of trimming remains and fodder, firewood, cork and mainly acorns has enabled long-term development of local economies. But much more than this economic advantage, woodland is fundamental to the survival of the Dessa, playing a key part in soil protection, grazing quality and in temperature reduction. Fundamental aspects of the conservation of this unique farm ecosystem and the biodiversity that it contains. However, the current situation of Diesa woodland is worrying. There are many wide-ranging causes that compromise its long-term sustainability. Many of the trees are old and sometimes damaged due to inadequate trimming practices by debarking or by the improper use of machines. This is a state of weakness that promotes pests or disease, which worsen the situation even more. The most alarming issue is that regeneration is increasingly scarce and the viability of the woodland is compromised by the effect of herbivorous. The solution to this problem is not exclusive and should be planned according to the characteristics of the area and how to combine the new woodland with the uses that are already employed on the estate. Open to the public DESA network of the Proyecto Life Bio DESA contains different measures related to the preservation of woodland in a good state and the support of proliferation of trees in the future. In some zones, fencing of pasture has been proposed in the short term or at specific times of the year in order to promote the appearance of natural regeneration. This also allows the presence of scrubland and bushes which provide refuge to some species of animals that disperse seeds and at the same time improve the settling conditions and protection for new plants. In areas where the development of existing regeneration is limited by grazing, the preferred option is to grow the strongest shoots of the existing plants through trimming or isolated protection, which will help the securing of a new tree. When natural regeneration is difficult due to various causes, the problem can be addressed in an artificial way. This option allows the incorporation of different species to those which already exist on the farmland, diversifying usability and increasing the resistance of the ecosystem to climate change or outbreaks of pests and disease. It is also possible to choose the type of regeneration and the state of the development of the plant from sowing seeds to the placement of different sized plants previously cultivated in pots. Extra care should always be taken to ensure that the seeds or plants used are disease free. Regeneration carried out in this way brings with it a series of tasks that improve root penetration in the generally compact soil of the Deesa. A key aspect in the first few years is water availability. This means watering is advisable during plantation and throughout the following summers, which can be carried out occasionally or through devices that allow rainwater management. By limiting the growth of the pasture around plants in order to prevent competition, weeding or by placing materials such as hay, pine bark or stones. It is important to protect the plants from any damage caused by livestock or wild animals. To achieve this, isolated protection can be installed, whose design would vary according to the characteristics of the animals found in the area. Once this is completed, protection should be removed to avoid problems related to plant growth. The implementation of trimming during the first years of life contributes to the growth in height of the plants and the formation of open and balanced treetops that promote and support the harvest of acorns. Ensuring that the woodland is strengthened and develops in optimal conditions 
will guarantee the survival of a type of development and unique ecosystem, the Deessa.